We were going to look at the UFC card this weekend, but we are not doing that right now because one, the UFC site isn't working properly, and two, some news came out a few days ago. The Sun has decided to come out. So a few days ago, Misfits has announced their new card. We're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about the other thing that they announced, which was the Misfits Cruiserweight title. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so this fight card, Salt Pappy versus Amadeus Ferrari. Okay, so here is the full fight card. Salt Pappy versus Amadeus Ferrari. Julie Polka versus Barbie. We've got Mist versus Ryan Taylor. King Kenny versus Adam Brooks. Argentinian King versus Mills with Max. And Tempo Arts versus Ben Knight. Already going into this, what are we saying? So Tempo Odds versus Ben Knight is for the Misfits uh, boxing heavyweight title. I feel like this fight should have been the rematch between Tempo Arts and Chase Diomor. I'm not a fan of Chase Diomor. I'm not a fan of what he's done in influencer boxing. I do not find what he's done entertaining. But I did believe that he won his last fight. And I do believe he deserved the title shot again in a rematch because I believe he won that fight. As much as I really don't like him, I still think he won. Um... So I, I feel like whoever wins this has to fight Chase Diamore next because I feel like Chase Diamore deserves a title run one more time. Uh, then we had Argentinian King versus Mills with Max. I don't know about this fight. I don't know who either of these guys are, but I'm excited to see them fight. Uh, this is an interesting fight for the lightweight title. So what, we had the tournament start last week, but not last week, last month. But obviously the uh, bomb threat came in. So it couldn't be continued. So this is technically the first fight on the uh, tournament. King Kenny versus Adam Brooks. Adam Brooks obviously beat, was it Rhino? I think it was. He knocked him out with a nice uppercut. I've got to give it to Brooks. Uh, it was a good uppercut. But King Kenny, deadly in this scene, man. Uh, dangerous. I'm excited to see Kenny return. Hopefully Kenny can get a win. But Adam Brooks could be dangerous if he lands another uppercut like that. He, I don't know how much power he's got. But I feel like this is a good test for both guys. Uh, mainly for Adam Brooks. This is a good test for Adam Brooks. I feel like King Kenny could have gone against someone else. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and bash any of the fighters. You know, this is influencer boxing, so it's a lot different to normal boxing. Uh, these guys are still up and coming. We're still trying to figure out who deserves what spot. And I believe Kenny probably gets the win on this one. But that's an early prediction. We'll do predictions when it gets closer to the date. Next up, Ryan versus Ryan Taylor versus Mist. I don't know who Mist is. Ryan Taylor, he fought Swarms. Swarms got rid of him in what? A round? One Punch Man Swarms? Yeah, One Punch Man Swarms. And then he also headbutt. Uh, I can't remember who he headbutt. This, I don't know. I can't really sit here and be like, this is a bad matchup. This is a good matchup. We're going to have to see. We don't really know how Ryan Taylor really is. We've never really seen him fight. And Mist, well, I haven't seen Mist fight ever, but he might have fought. Uh, so I don't know where to match these guys up. Julie Polka versus Barbie for the Misfits Boxing Female Cruiserweight title. This is a good fight. This fight was meant to happen on Kingpin, I think. This was meant to be like the main event, I think. So this here is a good matchup. This brings a lot of hype to it if you've watched the uh, Kingpin tournament. So I'm excited for this fight. And then finally, Salt Pappy makes his return after losing the Slim... After losing to Anthony Taylor, he's returning to fight Amadeus Ferrari. Now, I don't know who Amadeus uh, Ferrari is. I don't know if he's fought before. But I'm going to say it's an okay matchup. We're going to see how Salt Pappy does. I'm not going to say this is a bad matchup because Salt Pappy is coming off of two losses. So hopefully he can get a return. But now we've got one more thing to talk about. The thing that I am most excited for, the Misfits Boxing Cruiserweight Tournament. Faze Tempa versus Papi Luizzo. Is that how you say it? I'm sorry if I get that wrong. Then we've got DTG versus DK Money. That's an okay fight. I don't think either of these guys win. Uh, Le'Veon Bell versus Tristan Ham. And Jake Cornish versus Mike Edwards. Who do I have winning this? This I'm going to give a prediction here. I have Le'Veon Bell winning this. I believe if these two, if Le'Veon Bell and Face Temper are in the finals, I believe Le'Veon Bell wins. But I, I believe FaZe Temper and Le'Veon Bell both make it to the finals if they're not matched up after this. So I hope it goes, whoever wins this fight fights the, one of these guys, whoever wins this fight fights one of these guys, and then whoever wins out of all of these and all of these match up. So I want to see FaZe Temper versus Le'Veon Bell in the finals because I truly believe Le'Veon Bell wins. And that's my thoughts and opinions. 
but I am very excited for that tournament. I'm excited for all the tournaments because it finally gives something to be hyped for. It matches up fights that we probably would have never expected, which is good. But guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't really know what comes next for Misfits after this. I don't know what comes next, but... I'm excited. Apparently, KSI is having a return later on this year. Uh, apparently, Wayne Rooney is allegedly having a fight at some point on Misfits. But, guys, I have none of these answers. Um, I'm excited to find out. But apart from that, guys, these are just my thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think? Who do you think wins out of all of these fights? And how do you think this goes? Does Misfits make a new tournament? Or is this it? I'll catch you in a bit. Take care and peace.